i9 13900K WD Black 2 terabyte Gen 4 NVMe. I also got some extremely fast DDR5. We're gonna use the actual thermal paste that comes with this thing. Cause I know a lot of people aren't gonna have like their own thermal paste laying around. Many, many, many reasons that I like the Lee and Lee case. Before I get too off topic, AMD bracket actually looks good. U shape. A lot of them just have a plate like this all the way over here, and it's like a brace. Directions with this is pretty bad. The little USB here. Three little plugs, three little female plugs. Same thing, three to three. Flip it on over, boy. Imagine doing this Woo! inside of the case. Dude, like working in a case is the most annoying thing ever, dude. It really is, and they made it so easy to just like take shit out and put it on a desk and install stuff on your desk rather than having to like work up and around your case and everything. Oh my God, they did such an amazing job. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I've had nothing but good stuff to say about the previous MSI motherboards that I've ended up purchasing. You don't really need me to show you how to do this. It's literally just screwing the fans down and all of that. So it's a old push button to put your NVMe up in here. It does have a sticker. Remember to take the little sticker thing off. It looks like it has a lock on it already. On your motherboard, it may be in it on the actual under casing, but MSI puts it right on the cap. So as you can see, there's an arrow right there. And then on your CPU, there it's at the bottom left. I don't know if you guys can tell with the camera, but you can see there's three, a dot, a dot, a dot, and then this is an arrow. So it's gonna go in the motherboard this way. The arrow needs to be lined up with this arrow. Make sure I don't have a lot of grease up in my fingers. So that when we put the whatever stuff, the thermal paste. Now I do be gentle with this, but you don't have to like get like super paranoid or scared. You just gotta go ahead and do it this way. So the screw arrow and the arrow is over here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, and then there is slots on the CPU as well. And the motherboard has the slots so that you can put it in the right spot. Okay. It's like, it's, you're supposed to make those noises and I know it freaks me out every time I do it as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the NVMe in the actual motherboard. On your NVMe, some come with a heat sink, this one doesn't come with a heat sink, but most motherboards nowadays come with a heat sink. So you got your little whatever things over here. So on your motherboard, you see how there's a little black slot right there, which lines up with this little U. We should have done this first. We won't be able to get away with it. Yep, got away with it. <laughs> so I probably should have done that first, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you guys. So there's a big piece, you see right here? That's what goes on the side. And then there's a little rivet here. And that's where you're, you're supposed to clamp the actual NVMe down. The actual Amazon, 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 Amazon listing, this is RGB. Uh, because I have 64 gigabytes of RAM, I don't need to put this in any specific order. But if you have 32, if you're only using like two sticks, you're, I mean, read your manual because it could be different, but 90% of the motherboards are gonna wanna put it in the second and the fourth like slot. Linus has a couple of videos on explaining why to do that. So as you can see how it's empty, there's like, an, the, this one goes all the way and then there's empty. If you look at your motherboard, close, there's like the empty side. You see how there's like two big black dots without any of the stuff in it? That means the empty slot is gonna go this way. Really push and it's like, you feel like you're breaking the motherboard. 
Makes it wicked hard. Clip, clip. And it really is just crazy how hard you gotta push down. All right. So I'm quickly gonna show you guys why I like the MSI motherboard so much. There's a few reasons. See all of those. Like the amount of like ports that MSI gives you is just, I, there's no other motherboard that offers stuff like this. There's Z690 that we used a couple of months ago for a different build. There was the same way. And I'm gonna go just quickly show you guys the back of the box so that you can kind of see, you know, what the box has to say and stuff of that nature. But really, if the listing on Amazon is gonna tell you all the specific details anyway. So this is another thing that you may actually have to use a little bit of force, not to the point of like breaking anything or, you know, use your common sense. For the most part, use your common sense. But on your motherboard, there's gonna be holes. Like there's a hole there, a hole there, which this one's annoying to get to when you're screwing it down into your motherboard. But this is another thing you might have to use a little bit of force with to get your motherboard in a line. Do make sure that, you know, you see the little rivets are mostly for the most part lined up at this point. Now I am gonna keep the motherboard this way for a couple of these screws and then I'm gonna flip it up so that it's easier for me and my life isn't miserable trying to not drop screws. Yes. Right now, all I'm, oh my God, I'm glad that I remembered this. The back plate. This is what I almost forgot to do. Depending on the CPU color, you may not have sticker tape, so you might actually have to do this the other way. This is like, it's one of those things where it's like, mistakes are sometimes you're the best thing that can happen to you because then it it lets you know to not make that mistake again. You know what I mean, boys? Okay, so I'm just gonna put this. Don't over tighten these, by the way. And yes, you can use the little razors if you want. I'm actually surprised they don't have like an opposite, like for the plugs. Oh my god, dude, if I go this whole time without actually losing a screw down in my fans, that's gonna be insane, man. As soon as you knock one of these and it, it like it hits the screwdriver, your screw's gone. You know, but I'm gonna read the cooler manual because it does it, it is a multi-purpose cooler. And it does come with some like extra stuff for other CPUs, and I just I wanna make sure that I'm using I know this one is for AMD but I want to make sure that I'm using the correct stuff here. How you do this, you just take this, like here. I need to review it, I haven't, I, have, I actually haven't played any games or I haven't really done anything other than edit videos throughout the time that I haven't had a PC, but I've been using this MSI Katana is what it's called. And just so we're clear, before anybody argues with the thermal placed method that I'm about to use, this is basically the P method. It's just a little dot in the center. Um, or rice, P rice, rice down. Um, I'm just using what the manual says because this is, I don't know what kind of thermal paste this is. I think it's grizzly because I have some grizzly thermal paste myself. And that's kind of, what that's what this looks like. Method. That was probably a little bit too much, but it is what it is, boys. It doesn't really, I, to be completely honest, the method, there's so many tests out there regarding this. It doesn't really, there's not that big of a difference. So your thing is gonna have this. You gotta please remember to take your little plastic thing off hold this down and the reason I'm pushing down on this is so I don't have any air bubbles underneath because that is what this that's what the actual cooler 
or not cooler, that's what the actual thermal paste is for. This is just everything, and now it's just plug everything in. So I'm gonna get all these cable management, these two wires, and for, this is the power supply. It'd be your, C, your CPU power. It's gonna go into those two right there. And then this is your motherboard connector. It's gonna go right there. This is one of the uh, graphics card, the PCIe. And then you're gonna, this right here is your, these are with the case, this one that I have my thumb on is gonna go right here. And then this, this one right here, again, this one comes with the case, is gonna go right there. Building a PC may get repetitive, but that part will never get old, my friends. Turn it on. And it is gonna shut off, that is normal. Oh, it's got two cameras going. That is loud. Probably just a startup. However, it, it does need to be said that it's, it's loud. Last MSI motherboard that I had automatically booted from the drive, which was super cool. I didn't have to fiddle battle around with which drive to be using. Alrighty boys, so now I'm just gonna set up Windows and then I'm gonna fiddle that, I'm gonna install Armory Crate. I do want to show you guys that I did end up getting my white cables for the actual computer and stuff. So, yeah. Everything is so dope. But yeah, boys, I'm just going to be setting this up. Throw a thumbs up. Check out one of these videos around the screen. And we'll get you guys the next one.